Ladies and gentlemen, at this point, I think Satan himself would have to admit he's been outdone by Ron DeSantis. He just has no end. This man, he must have a whole legion of demons on him for real. All right, here's the latest story. DeSantis, $13.5 million police program lures officers with violent records to Florida. He wants police officers that are violent to come and work in Florida. You know, by the time this man gets done with his term, Florida is never going to be the same. It's going to be jacked up for real. So let's get into it. Numerous police officers lured to new jobs in Florida with cash from Governor Ron DeSantis. Flagship law enforcement relocation program have histories of excessive violence or have been arrests for crimes, including kidnapping and murder since signing up. He's talking about the police that he's bringing down there. Okay, these are the kind of histories these cops have that he wants to bring down there. A study of state documents have found. So he wants... Cops that have killed, cops that have kidnapped and raped. He wants those cops down in Florida to work. DeSantis, who is expected to launch his campaign for the 2024 Republican presidential nomination this week, has spent more than $13.5 million to date on the recruitment bonus program which has touted in 2021 as an incentive to officers in other states frustrated by, you know, the mandates. Y'all know what the mandates are. Think 2020. This will all go along with an ensuring we can have the best and brightest filling our law enforcement ranks. Florida Republican Attorney General Ashley Moody said in April of last year, as DeSantis announced a one-time $5,000 bonus for new recruits. However, among the almost 600 officers who moved to Florida and received the bonus or were recruited in the state are a sizable number who either arrived with a range of complaints against them. So he wants the most troublesome cop to come down there and work. So they're saying a lot of these cops got all kinds of complaints against them. They have accrued criminal charges. An online media outlet, Daily Dot, has discovered. Mm, mm, mm. That man is some kind of evil. They include a former trainee deputy. He was charged with murdering. I'm sorry. She was charged with murdering her husband. An officer with Miramar Police Department fired for domestic battery and kidnapping. These are the kind of officers they hired. And a former member of the New York Police Department who was hired by Palm Beach Police Department, having once been accused of an improper sexual preposition. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that officer named by the Daily Dot as Daniel Meeblin was also part of a $160,000 settlement by the NYPD for violence at a 2020 protest against the deaths of Breonna Taylor and George Floyd, in which officers were accused of beating Black males without provocation. And that's the person you hired. A Palm Beach, a Palm Beach police spokesperson 
told the Daily Dot that Meeblin, who had complaints against him, including abuse of authority, sexually propositioning a teenager. Okay, so you're an NYPD officer and you did that to a teenager? Wow. Had disclosed his background during the hiring process, according to NYPD Watchdog. Uh, uh, uh. Wow. So uh, they're claiming he's had a, a good police record since being hired in October of 2022. Well, y'all say that about the worst cops. They could be the worst cops, and you'll you'll say they are just great, and they're not great. There's no greatness in them. Mm -mm -mm. So, ladies and gentlemen, the Daily Dot compiled a report from state records it obtained from the Florida Department of Economic Opportunity through a Freedom of Information Act request. The undated document lists payments of more than $8.8 million split between 1,310 newly hired officers, with most receiving $6,693.44 from the sign-on and additional bonuses. A press release earlier this month, DeSantis announced the program has since grown to more than 2,000 officers with a parallel rise in costs to more than $13.5 million. To date, 595 law enforcement recruits from 49 states and U.S. territories have relocated to Florida, including more than 215 recruits from uh, California, Texas, New York, and Pennsylvania, the statement said. For its report, the Daily Dot matched information from the 50A and NYPD databases, as well as published media reports to officers' names listed by the state. It says it uncovered an exodus of officers to Florida law enforcement agencies from NYPD in wake of a backlash against the department for its brutal handling of racial justice protests in 2020 after the murder of George Floyd. Among them were at least two dozen officers who names match those on NYPD's Civilian Complaint Review Board database, including some, according to those complaints, unlawfully pepper sprayed, assaulted, and pointed their firearms at suspects, as well as used chokeholds and offensive language regarding race and ethnicity. A civil rights lawsuit filed in 2018 against former NYPD Sergeant Hethen Hasmedin, Hasmedin alleged the officer used physical violence against a teenager on her way to school. Now employed by Florida. <laughs> Wow. Minneapolis uh, Police Department. Wow. So this person beat up a teenager that was walking. That's what I'm looking at. They beat up a teenager that was walking to school. Wow. They got hired in Florida, though, right? Mm-mm-mm. So a former New York officer employed in Florida was involved in two deaths, one which led to a $100,000 civil uh, settlement. This is according to the Daily Dot. In October 2022, he was hired and down there in Florida, and he is Justin Burgos. Wow, this thing just gets worse as you go along. Mm -mm -mm. So um, this person 
was charged with this uh, Justin Burgos was charged with reckless endangerment, reckless driving and obstruction of governmental administration for driving his vehicle into protesters. Manhattan calling for the firing of an officer accused of beating a black suspect. These, these guys are all hired down there in Florida. None of the police agencies contacted for comment responded other than the Palm Beach Department, the Daily Dot reported, uh, DeSantis office did not return a request for comment from the Guardian. Look, y'all, all I have to say is right now, people down in Florida, because I got a big, big uh, amount of relatives in Florida. Most of my father's side of the family live in Florida. And I have to tell y'all, you better watch your back. This man is hiring these people for one reason and one reason only. And that is to go after the melanated people down there in Florida. He's bringing all these cops that got violent backgrounds and all kinds of complaints, years of complaints against them. And they're being hired and grabbed up down there in Florida. Y'all better watch your back big time, for real. Be careful. Because I, I don't see nothing good coming from this. Nothing. All you're doing is letting these cops know with these terrible backgrounds, they are absolutely embraced and they can pretty much come down there and do whatever they want. And nobody's going to say a thing. What would be the goal to bring people down there to kill off the population that they don't like? But y'all, please tell me what you think about this video please leave your comment and but you know what let me say this this just go to show you no matter what heinous act some of these police officers commit you notice they don't take their peace license away you're talking about rape murder cops that have violently beat up on people and nobody lost their peace license and they can travel from their state to florida and still work but in memphis that one incident with Tyree Nichols on video, they lost their peace license. But you notice these cops that are not melanated, those things don't happen to them. They make sure they can go out here and stay gainfully employed in policing. Big difference. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.